Hi, uh, you might have seen this thread that I posted on Yammer a couple of days ago, and it talks about a new way of having a browser home page for your school browsers when uh, people go into Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, and uh, having a page that looks something like this. So what it is, is I've created a template uh, with a bunch of icons that look very similar and uh, very organized and they're uh, laid out in a way that people can easily find things. Uh, they automatically resize, so if you're looking at it on an iPad or different devices they'll uh, reorganize themselves uh, very nicely. You can have your school name at the top here, you can change this picture if you like. Um, so basically it's a, a way to have a web page that uh, is more practical, more useful for your students uh, and for your staff when they first open their browser. Now, if we go back, that was the student page. There's also a demo staff home page. So they're two separate pages because you've got different types of links that uh, staff might like to have. And that's, um, that's what you get by default. But you can take a copy of these particular templates you can make your own browser home pages for students and for staff and you can have your own set of icons so if you don't use some of these things you can delete them you can swap them out for different ones and what I've actually done is that there is a list of 67 different icons currently and I've been adding more as people ask for them uh, in a shared Google Drive that you can get from that Yammer post and you can go and grab all sorts of different things so there's Storybox Library, there's ABC Education, there's Central uh, all sorts of different things in here so if there's any extra icons that you want um, you can simply grab them from there or you can request them by simply adding a reply to that Yammer discussion and uh, I'll make you one and pop it into this folder and then you can go and add that to your site so going back to here you want to make your own school site and customize it. That's exactly what I want to, want to do. And these are step-by-step -step instructions. Now, some people can follow the instructions on the screen fairly comfortably and uh, are, are able to do it. Some people need to see the process in action. So what I thought I'd do is actually demonstrate for you the process for doing exactly this. If I go into this shared folder, which is the first step, this is the folder that contains the two templates that uh, I've created and made available for people to go and grab a copy of. Grabbing a copy of it, you need to think about where are you going to put it in the first place because it needs to go into your school's Google Shared Team Drives if you're using um, the shared drives or it needs to go into somebody's My Drive, somebody's Google Drive. So let's just say I'm putting it into somebody's My Drive. I'll just, for example, put it into my own. If I go to My Drive here, this is my personal drive and in here uh, what I've done is created a new folder called school browser home pages I did that by going new folder and then typed in school browser home pages and then what I did was uh, sorry I just swapped that around then what I did was hmm I'll just get back to where I was last modified by me school browser home pages then what I did was I went back to uh, this particular folder which I shared with everybody and say I wanted to have the student home page I wouldn't open this what you do is you right click on it and you choose the option to make a copy and then when you do that it's going to ask you where do you want to put it and you'll navigate to your my drive and into that school browser home pages folder um, or to your shared drive wherever it is that you're wanting to put it remember if you put it in your my drive if you ever leave the school or you leave the department you're going to lose that um, template that website so uh, that's probably not a great thing but if you're somebody at the school who intends to be there for quite some time then uh, that's probably perfectly fine if you put it into a shared drive it means you're going to have multiple people who are able to edit it and you'll need to think about whether you want that to be the case or not so I'll leave that thinking up to you which folder you're going to put it in but you'll right click on here you'll choose make a copy and you'll navigate to the path that has that folder once you've done that it takes a little while to make the copy and it actually sends you an email when it's done but if I open up this folder I'll now see that I've got something in here called copy of student homepage and if I want to uh, I can rename it and I can get rid of this copy of and just call it student homepage that's fine okay then the next thing I want to do is click on it or actually double click on it and what it's going to do is load the website up in Google Sites and you are going to be an editor of that site 
So what we now see, I'll just move out of the way, it's loading up the site for the first time. This is my copy of it, the copy that you're going to have, the, it's, it's your school's copy. So in here, straight away, you can come in here and say, Rockdale Public School. You can click on this background and you can change the image. So if you go and get, a, um, get your phone out, set it to panorama on the camera, do a panorama of the school, so make it a nice wide photo like this one, and then you can insert that picture as the picture background. This thing says student links up here, don't change that, leave that as it is, that's fine. But then you can look at all of these icons and you can say, oh, this is a good icon, this is not a good icon, and so on and so forth. Uh, we don't use, for example, in our school seesaw, so I can simply uh, click on that and then hit the trash can and that will delete it. If I want to uh, say we don't use Enhanced TV but we use Click View, then I can remove that and so on. Okay, so how do I add these extra icons in here? Easiest way, up here you choose the option that says um, Images. And you can go Select. And you can select it from that URL that I had, or if you've copied that whole folder, then you can uh, go and grab it. But let's say, for example, I want Schoolbox Storybox Library. Uh, and insert that. What it does is it puts that picture straight into the bottom of the website. I can now resize that. Now you need to be careful about resizing because what it does is it will try to um, size it to a particular um, grid. Uh, so you'll need to play around with it a little bit but the idea is to make it uh, the same as all the other ones. So that looks like it's the same as all the other ones. That's really good. So I've now put, put a new icon in there. Let's go and put another one in. So I'll go back to Images and I'll go to Select. And I'll select from the folder that I had. So I'd navigate to the folder where I put those images or I'd go to the one that was shared with me, which is the one that uh, I had showing there. So let's say we also have, um, we want to have Study Ladder and insert that. Now you can click multiples of those and then choose insert and it will uh, put them all in one after the other. They'll all come in this big size because I've done them as a fairly high resolution so that the picture looks pretty good when you scale it. And you shrink it, you drag it into the box where it's going to go. That's a little small, make it a little bigger. It'll automatically snap to the size of all of the others which is nice. So we've now got two icons in here. So then what we need to do is find out what the icon icons are for these things. So you'd probably know what the um, story box library. You probably know what the icon is and maybe you want to go straight to the logon screen or something. <clears throat> and copy this particular URL and then go back to your page, click on the icon, click on the insert link and paste that link in there, apply that. Study Ladder is another one, so we'll need to go to Study Ladder. I don't know what the icon is, so we'll let Bing do that. Here it is, Study Ladder. And yep, this is the one that we want, and we'll go log in here as well, and we'll copy that, and then we'll go back to our page, click on there, click on the link icon, paste that in, and apply. So what you've now done is modified this template. We've got a school name. Ignore this. We've got a school name. We've got, um, we'll pasted our new picture in. We've adjusted our icons the way we want them to be. And we've made this particular site. That's great. So what do we then do? We want to publish it. So we, then we click on publish here. What we want to do is give it a name. So uh, this is the name of the URL that is going to go uh, on your site. Now I've actually called it student links before. You can't call it that. It has to be a unique name. This is the actual URL that it's going to be. So what I recommend that you do is either put your school code in or your school initials or something like that. So let's say it's the school code. I'm not sure what Rockdale school code is, but let's go 2216. <clears throat> and that's now called 2216 student links. That I know that's going to be a unique uh, site site so that's the URL there specific people can so who can view my site click on manage here and what you want to do is change this and say that you want to be published and you want to make it public 
anyone on the internet can find and open and then you click done and publish and what that's going to do is create me a website with that URL so if I go back into here and go view the published site it's going to open in a new tab this is my URL that you can see at the top so it's 2216 students this is Rockdale Public School this is live on the internet so that's pretty much all there is that you have to do with that the other thing that you've got to do is you'll need to get that URL later on go back to the Yammer page uh, and then you'll need to find out how you set that as an internet browser home page so if we click on here these are the instructions for how to set it as an internet browser home page on your ET4L school and uh, step by step instructions I won't go through with that right now because I'm at home and you need to be at school to access your internet your ET4L server to do it but it's all fairly simple once you've done that then uh, whenever you go into Internet Explorer that's going to be your home page for students and if you create do the same thing again for the staff links then you can go and add a second one here so there's a possibility to have one for staff and one for students as you can see down here on the page so that's uh, that's pretty much everything all of the instructions are on here if you need extra icons just ask for them uh, and I will get them added into the folder for you but that's a really really simple way to get a nice functional practical home page whenever you start your browser on your Windows computers at school and as a URL this is a URL that you can share uh, for all of your other devices uh, and if you've got them in Jam or in um, Zulu desk you can put it as your home page on your browser and, and do all sorts of things with it it's just a handy way to get access to all of those uh, items websites services that you use on a regular basis at school Hope that was of use, and uh, if you've got any questions, just ask them in this Yammer post. Bye.